to go over to Genesis chapter 9, and we'll start in verse 12. And we're going to read down through verse 17, and we'll put that on the screen. I want everybody to be able to see that. For those of you that are, are only getting to listen today, then I want you to be able to hear it, so I'll, I'll read it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Now, Genesis chapter 9, starting in verse uh, 12. Well, you know, we could back up here and start in, um, let's start in verse 8. This would be a better start. Let's do verse 8. I like verse 8 here. The Lord led me here now. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you and the fowl of the, of the, fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I will make, or which I make between me and you and, and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow which shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, verse 17, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Now, notice this. He says here, and God said in verse 17, this is the token of the covenant. What is? The rainbow. The rainbow. You can go almost anywhere, ask any believer, what, uh, what, what does the rainbow mean? Will, will it ever flood the earth again? And most every person, whether they're saved or not, will tell you, well, no. There'll never be a flood to destroy the earth again. And if you said, why? They'd say, because of the rainbow. The rainbow covenant. It was the covenant between God and the earth and Noah and everyone that's, that he said there would never be another worldwide flood to destroy the earth. Now, this is what the Lord said to tell you today. Beyond the rainbow, there is all of heaven backing that promise. Beyond the rainbow... All of heaven is backing that promise. The king had decreed a thing, and the proclamation went out to all creation. Heaven, the superior, the spirit world, to never let it happen again. The proclamation went out to the angelic force to fight for it never to happen again. Number three, the proclamation went out to the celestial heavens, never to align in gravitational pulls and the like to cause such a thing again. And then number four, to the earth, do not be afraid. It has been decreed. It will not happen again. So the proclamation beyond the rainbow, beyond the rainbow, all of heaven backs that promise in a place all you see is the rainbow but you don't see beyond it in heaven there was a decree made to the spirit world first it could never happen again no spirit no spirit in existence whether it be good or bad is allowed to ever destroy the earth with a flood again never and if anyone ever tries to destroy it again, he is in total 
rebellion, or it's in total rebellion against God and the king's proclamation he made in the court of heaven. Hallelujah. Now, the, the second thing is that it went out to the angelic force. So this told all angels, good or bad, you can never, ever cause such a thing again. And so the angelic force fights to keep everything straight and in line. Number three, it went out to the celestial. So all gravitational pulls, I don't care what universe, what planet, what, what star, whatever, has all went out and it's already out there that it can never, ever again cause with its power the earth to react. You know, because the moon controls the tides. But never again can a planet or a star ever cause a worldwide flood. And then number four, the establishing force to all the earth. No matter when it rains, no matter how much it rains, never be afraid again. Never be afraid again that it will destroy the earth because it has been decreed by the king. So beyond the rainbow, the proclamation, all of heaven backs that promise. 